Good morning, Marcus Conti reporting. I want to uh, dive into the gas. Ah, a gas effect, right? I got a couple of slides here I want to show. Right? So, to uh, my friend um, Go Green, thank you for posting, and uh, I want to address this today. This little guy in the park. <laughs> I was hoping that the the Tim Tim Canova video, right? He's a big guy, right? That was some that was a good talk, right? We talked about. You know that guy had that guy rubbed elbows with Sanders and he's in court with Wasserman Schultz. I was a little I'm a little surprised that more people in my shadow ban. I, I probably, but I don't know. I hope that video gets gets seen by more people. You know, promoted. So gas, gas. Let's talk about some gas, right? What is gas? What is what is gas? Right? So I got some slides and uh, go green. So okay, so you're saying that. The, the premise of your post that you post multiple times. Don't do that. <laughs> because what happens when you post it and you drop it into every link, it gets thrown into spam. And then, then when you post something legitimate, it sits there until I have to go and, and retrieve it and release it. So don't do that. Just just post once. I see. What you, everybody sees it. So, so greenhouse gas, right? What is greenhouse gas? Let's talk about that. Uh, your, your, the premise of your argument is that is that the meat and dairy industry is in fact the uh, the primary source of the greenhouse effect, right? Right? That's not true, but it's close to true, and I'm going to support your opinion uh, after I run the statistics. So, statistically, um, let me just this is this might be clumsy because I got my I got my machine here. Hold on a sec. Just stand by. One, two, three. Okay, so I don't want to drop my uh, my lap, my <laughs> my iPad. So, so here's the first slide. It's it's carbon dioxide production, right? From separated by industry. And the number one industry. What? So what, let me just explain carbon. What what is the greenhouse effect, and why does it matter? Greenhouse effect is a combination, actually, of of three or four. Uh, different gases, carbon dioxide being the primary one. Then there's nitrous oxide, there's methane, there's there's other other uh, minute gases that cause the Earth to warm. It's also water vapor too. Right? That, that causes a greenhouse effect as well. But what happens is when when the sun comes in, right? The sun comes through the atmosphere. It 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 creates a radioactive reaction to those gases causing an increase in temperature, right? And then ultimately causing a deterioration of the ozone level, right? So that's that's the greenhouse effect. And what causes it? The number one cause is fossil fuel burning, right? Indisputable. It's it's 65% of the the carbon the carbon um, dioxide levels. Now, the the one that you're talking about is is from is from agriculture, which is which is around 14 percent. Now, I know what you're saying. The agricultural spinoff, right? The, the carbon dioxide that comes out of that industry. The, the the they only measure the amount that the cattle breathe out, right? Right. That's what they measure it by. But they don't account for all of the 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 cars and the trucks and the machinery to enslave the animals and then ultimately eat them. And that's another subject, right? You know, and on the record, I am, my platform in every video, right? Oh, I'm big, you know, big guy, right? I got a platform. But my, my, my view is that fossil fuel, you know, should, should be a limit. We should be completely solar and wind powered and, and quite possibly to some degree nuclear until we figure out more about how to use the solar more effectively and the wind more effectively, right? So, you know, nuclear is the only, it's actually the only energy on, that, that human beings have ever created that all of the waste is accountable, right? We don't know what to do with the waste, but it's all accountable, right? So, so anyway, so carbon dioxide, the fuel industry is 65% of the burden. Um, forestry and other land use, 11%. Methane, 16%. Nitrous, um, 
uh, nitrous I'm, I'm reading the wrong slide <laughs> but, yeah so those are the so those are the gases right and um, uh, right, 65 percent is, is uh, this is the one I want to talk about so take a look at that right, and basically what it says is electricity and heat production is 25 percent of all greenhouse gases agriculture forestry about 24 percent buildings six percent transportation 14 percent other industries about 30 percent right so so the, the burning of fossil fuels right number one right? number one number one source of greenhouse gas right what else we got here this is a staggering one right here. Look at this. This is from 1990. I'm, I'm reading from the uh, EPA. I know we can't trust the government agencies, but today we're going to trust a little bit of it, right? Go down into the link below. You'll see the graphs and charts that I'm looking at from the uh, Environmental Protection Agency, U.S. government, right? So this one is pretty staggering, too. And you see that 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 spike line that goes all the way up from night from the like the 19 it's actually from 1900s see that from 1900 and then it spikes all the way up so what 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 this chart says is mostly most in modern uh, uh, modern history from 1990 there was 6,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide put into the environment and now in, in 2010, it, it doubled, right? So what's causing it? It's population explosion, right? It's human beings. In 1970, there was only like, you know, there's 7 billion people on the planet right now, right? And in, in the 70s, there was only like, you know, like two and a half or three billion. The population of, of human beings on the planet is staggering. Now, is that necessarily... Is that the end of the? Is that the end? No, I, I fundamentally disagree with that. I think that human beings can sustain, but you must change, right, to adapt. So this greenhouse effect is very real, right? You know, you have greenhouse deniers and all that, but but the fact is that the greenhouse effect is is causing is causing damage, you know, verifiable damage to the ozone, and at some point. It has a threshold, right? And if we exceed that threshold, what's going to happen is radiation is just going to stream into the, you know, like a, like a balloon pops, you know, like a balloon pops. It could take so much, and then, pfft. and that's, in my view, that's probably how it will will occur. It'll be if we do, can you know, considerable damage. Once that hole pops, the radiation and you know, life as we know it is is pretty much gone, you know. And then another couple of billion year, a million years on Earth, and then that either heals or doesn't heal right so and then some other form of life pops up right evolution so now who's who's let's just talk about this the, the cause of who's doing it right? I don't know if that's visible but but on this chart it says China 30% the United States 15% other 30% Europe 9% India seven, Russia five. I thought Russia was fucking Russia. They're, they're not. <laughs> they're they're less. They they burn they burn less gas and create less problems. Japan four. All right. So so we're 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 at fifteen percent. We're half of China's problem. But then again, that's the United States EPA reporting. So it's probably we're probably a little higher than that. Right? And China's probably a little lower than that. So so how do we solve the problem? right it's 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 again you, you have to look at the problem what is the problem the problem is carbon dioxide nitrous oxide all these all these chemicals bleeding into the environment human consumption right it's human consumption we're doing it human beings are doing it right so so if we if we eliminate the fossil fuels right that's a big one right that's that's huge right Wind, solar, my platform again, right? Right? 
Now, who's in the way of that? Who stops it? BP, ExxonMobil, you know, all the major insane fossil fuel industry that, that they don't want to see no solar shit. Is solar advanced enough to, you know, sustain existence for human beings on, uh, 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 at this point? Yeah, it is. And wind is, is not even, it hasn't even been touched. I want to look at something. I'm looking here. I know a lot of, I'm in a park, but a lot of dogs take shits over here. Can somebody identify these mushrooms for me? Check this out. I don't know what they are, but... Is that, uh, sub is that Civil Asylum? Magic Mushroom? I don't know. It's growing out of shit. It's a lot of it. <laughs> In a city park. Dogs are gonna be tripping. That's why I like to be outside. I, I just I'm an outside guy. So, so again, greenhouse gas. Now here's here's the other one, right? Mr. Go Green, I am with you, my brother or sister. I don't know what you are, but and thank you, Pat Hacker. Pat Hacker told me a secret. I, I didn't I didn't know who Pat Hacker was. But anyway, we'll keep that secret. That's for Pat Hacker to tell you. But thank you, Pat Hacker. Pat Hacker is my only. Uh, <laughs> You, you contributed 10 bucks to my campaign. I, thank you so much. I love that. I love that shit. That's going to blow, though. Don't worry about it. Just, I have a view. I have a vision. I have a vision. I have a vision. Yeah, it's going to work. Also, I want to um, point people to, I, I created a Patreon page. I'm, I'm putting up everything. Like we got Patreon. We got GoFundMe. We have PayPal. Right? I'm on seven different social media platforms. Not that I post them. I post here. This is home. For now, YouTube, until I get totally banned, right? But, Mr. Go, Go Green, right? It's the animals. I, I understand and I feel, I feel your pain, right? That not only should we not, you know, farm animals and cat, cows, but, you know, for the reason of greenhouse effect, but, but the, the, the sheer, um, violence and and inhumanity that goes into the, the, the breeding of cattle for food is you know is unthinkable I mean I just the last video I did was was touching on on the idea of um, who's a pedophile and our children being taken advantage of or young adults or whatever young teenagers whatever and um, but but here we have the same people that would argue in favor of, um, you know, not separating children from their parents at the border, ICE, <laughs> and and all that, right? You have the same people, but but they sit down and they have a hamburger, right? And I, I'm again, I'm not. I'm I've been a vegan for for about ten years, and it happened through a long period of meditation and and, and soul searching, and it and through that I came out of it always knowing that the animal, the torture of animals and the eating of animals for no reason whatsoever, no, no, you know, nutritive reason whatsoever is wrong. I always knew that, right? right? I'm, a, I'm a vegan 40, you know, 10 years later, right? And I'm also, I have a, a, a degree in nutrition. Uh, you know, maybe you might, might not know that, but I was a clinical nutritionist for six years coming out of college. So I, I do know that there is no, there's no reason why people should need to eat meat. The, the idea that the protein, oh, we can get protein. There's no protein. <laughs> That's bullshit, right? Plenty of protein in every vegetable, right? So, um, who, where's the enemy again, right? Why politics? Why is why am I doing? Why do I do a political? Because there's no way on earth, on this wonderful earth, that you can ever stop the problem of greenhouse gases and 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 human destruction of the planet, right? Unless you wake people up and 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 
and, and, and eliminate the oligarchy, right? The, the corporations that are causing this thing, right? We're causing it, yes. We get in the car and we drive from point A to point B. But the corporations are responsible to respond to us, right? In publicly traded corporations, right? But that's not the case anymore. I do whatever the hell I want, right? They're raping the, the planet, right? But through politics, through continued voice, wow, I'm up at 15 minutes, so I'm gonna cut this, chop this down in a minute, right? But I keep talking about it, right? Right? The answers lie in the stock market, right? The answers lie in the stock market, right? You have to, you have to squeeze the corporations, tax them, right? Institute a green new deal, solar, wind, quite possibly nuclear for a short period of time. Eliminate fossil fuel burning. And then educate people on the idea of veganism, the idea of new foods, right? There's so many potentials to creating new food groups through the use of vegetables, right? Growing your own food, that, that, doesn't, that reverses the greenhouse effect because plants release carbon, uh, they release oxygen, right? And if we don't use the manures in the, in the ground, the methane manures, then you also uh, uh, cut down on those greenhouse effects. So, you know, private farming, people using, instead of having lawns in the city, grow vegetables, parks. Look at this park. This little park has dog shit and, and, and magic mushrooms. There's no, why, why are there no vegetables? Why, there, why can't we plant fruit trees? Right? There's a lot of solutions to the problem, right? But before the ozone pops, before the balloon pops, right, right, it's going to pop. My name is Marcus Conti, opinionist, journalist, reporter here on YouTube. Peace out.